And I was sitting at his service and I said, God, there's just gotta be a better way to find people to help you so you can keep your loved ones at home. His level of care was so high, we couldn't put him somewhere, nobody could take care of him. So I came up with this great idea in my mind and I started implementing it. And today it is what it is. And I am proud of what I've done, but again, I couldn't do it with all my great staff. So to you guys, I say thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Gordon McLean, and I'm the Director of Audit Services for RJI International CPAs. RJI is an Orange County-based full-service CPA firm providing audit and tax services to publicly traded and privately held businesses. We pride ourselves on serving entrepreneurial businesses, and we have a niche practice in international tax. We are affiliated with DFK International, one of the largest accounting networks in the world, and we currently serve clients around the globe in over 20 countries. I'm delighted to present this next award. If I were to tell you that our next um, entrepreneur taught himself how to code at the age of eight years old, you'd probably say that's pretty impressive. I would certainly agree with you. Um, he went on into high school and began to set up computers and local area networks for businesses in Newport Beach and used his fellow students uh, to assist with the project. Then while in college, he set up a tour company for overseas students in Los Angeles and developed the software to manage the business. This entrepreneur's career only continued in college. For more than 20 years, he's, had, he's embodied the entrepreneurial spirit of devoting his time and efforts to the constant service of his ventures, his colleagues, and his local community. Flush with a bachelor's degree in biochemistry and a PhD degree in biophysics, this entrepreneur did not go into the medical or the medical technology field. Rather, he followed his passion that began at the age of eight years old. He went on to build his entrepreneurial spirit to leverage technology to develop businesses. This entrepreneur would go on to become an executive at Overture, a company that pioneered what we know as today as click advertising or pay-per-click advertising, and Overture was later sold to Yahoo for $1.6 billion. Today, the company that he operates is an accelerator of innovation for large companies and a growth accelerator for emerging startups. Under his leadership, his company has experienced 50% year-over-year growth and 50-plus percent client growth with such not notable brands as Flying J, Nitto, Toyota, and Leslie's Pools, in addition to half a dozen startups. Throughout his career, he has helped raise over $200 million for startups and helped create over 1,000 jobs. If you ask him what his company does, he'll tell you that they fix problems something that all entrepreneurs are very adept at. If this is not enough, this entrepreneur established a Newport Beach venture capital firm. This entity has provided seed capital and venture funding for dozens of businesses in the digital, media, and marketing space. Some of the notable startups include Ankina Networks, which was acquired by Juniper in 2010 for $100 million, Cloud Trigger, which was, a cloud, which was acquired by Cloud Sherpas in 2012, and Style Hall, which was acquired by the RTL Group in 2014 for $107 million. And if that's not enough, in his spare time, he sits on the board of Human Options, Petco, the Discovery Cube, along with being a member of the Executive Committee of the Homeland Security Advisory Board. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Andre Berengian from C Digital Labs. And unfortunately, Unfortunately, due to a family emergency, Andre is not here to join us today, but accepting the award on his behalf is Evelyn Lee. Andre Berenger, I'm here to really accept uh, the award on behalf of him as well as C Digital Labs. Um, here are some of the things that he wanted to relay to the, the audience here today. Um, it's really an honor to be part of this organization, and we're very, very humbled in receiving of this award today. 
Um, C Digital Lab strives to be innovative as well as entrepreneurial in ways uh, by creating enterprise solutions as well as being an accelerator and an incubator for a lot of startups. I will make this very short. Um, this could have not happened without all the employees at C Digital Labs who are here with me today, some of who are here with me today. Um, it couldn't have been possible without them, so thank you so very much. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mark Cook. I'm from Singer Lewak. And on behalf of uh, my partners and team members at Singer Lewak, we would like to congratulate all of the finalists on their nomination. Um, before I tell you about our next nominee, uh, let me tell you about Singer Lewak. Serving the Western U.S. since 1959, Singer Lewak is known for professional excellence and assurance, tax advisory and management consulting. Singer Lewak is nationally recognized, and together with our prime global affiliation, we serve businesses with a local, regional, and worldwide footprint and in almost every industry. So whether you need auditing, tax, M&A, forensic, valuation, family office, or expertise with SEC filings and transactions, we're available to help you. So that's Singer Lewak, but that's not the reason I'm here. As you know by now, this is an award for excellence in entrepreneurship. So let me tell you a few things about how excellent our next nominee is, and maybe convey why she's here. Although the company she founded is here in Orange County, our nominee grew up in Sepulpa, Oklahoma, which is a few miles from Tulsa. Sepulpa is a quaint little town on what used to be Route 66, with the main street I hear that's right out of Norman Rockwell. Uh, it was from these humble beginnings that she developed some of those great Midwestern characteristics of hard work, honesty, and a dedication to her faith and family. In addition, she is fiercely independent, courageous, always optimistic, highly energetic, and intelligent. While Sepulpa is where her heart is, she eventually made her way to Southern California and put some of those foundational principles to work. Our nominee has been involved in selling women's cosmetics most of her career, and this includes seven years at Savon, followed by a great career at Mary Kay Cosmetics, where she soared through the ranks as a high volume distributor and ultimately to sales director. But even with those experiences, she wanted to do more, and there were some things that, uh, some changes in her personal life at that time, and uh, so in 1999, our nominee took the plunge and started her own business. And true to her humble beginnings, she started the business in a mobile home in Newport Beach, where she lived with her son, Alan. Uh, in the mobile home, the living room was the warehouse, the dining room was the clerical office, the bedroom was the computer room, and order entry department. And although there were lots of close calls and chances to give up and quit, she never accepted the possibility of failure and kept on. And with, uh, with a lot of hard work, in April of 2000, the company moved to its first headquarters, a warehouse and showroom in Newport Beach. This was a big step. And although she didn't know it at the time, her future husband, Ben, joined the company that spring. And it goes almost without saying that he, too, is a key driver and element of success, as is Alan. They're a great team, know their business, and have great business instincts. So let's fast forward to today. Our nominee is the visionary and driving force behind Synergens International, a direct sales multi-level marketer of women's luxury cosmetics and skincare products. She achieved her dream of developing a company that offers an unparalleled opportunity for distributors to build a business as large as they want and to make as much money as they want by selling products that truly work. So Synergist has grown from a $2 million business in its first year to a company hundreds and hundreds of millions of, time, of times larger, a true juggernaut of a business. And while it's true this business is hugely successful, there is one more important aspect that I'd like to try and convey to you all. Our nominee, Joni Rogers Conte, has stayed true to her beginnings. A healthy balance of family, faith, and hard work and is something that she preaches to her Synergens family. So if you ever have a chance to speak to a distributor, pull up a chair. Their stories of what Joni means to them and how she has changed her life is something that will leave you smiling. So it's truly my honor to present to you the founder of Synergens International, Mrs. Joni Rogers Conte.
thank you very much. Thank you to uh, Mark and our sponsors and of course the judges. And I do want to congratulate everyone here in this room um, who have been running the company, founded a company, managing the company. My associates in Washington, D.C. tell me if you can make it in California, you can make it anywhere. So I think congratulations to all of us. Um, at Synergence, we empower women to uh, live an abundant and prosperous life through selling products that really work. And um, this obviously was not accomplished by, uh, on my own. I actually have the privilege of representing a village of at least 500 employees. Uh, table 19 is full of our executives, many of whom started this journey with me in 1999 and 2000. Um, number one, notably Michael Mode, who served as our president for 14 years and our gen uh, general counsel, who is either an Orange Countyan or an Orange Countyite, much longer than I, I'm not sure what the term is. Uh, he actually lives in the home uh, that he was raised in and went to elementary school here in Newport Beach. Kristen Aguilar, who was born here in Orange County, of course, my husband, Ben, who's been here since uh, 1999, and I myself have been a resident of Orange County for the last 30 years, and both of my sons were born at Hogue Hospital. So it's been a great privilege for us to be representatives of Orange County. I op also represent uh, just under a quarter of a million independent contractors here in the United States and uh, uh, across 13 other countries other than the US, another 100,000 independent distributors who represent our products. Um, I would also like to acknowledge uh, the others at table 13 uh, or 19 who have recently joined our company in an effort to make us a ubiquitous brand across around the world in years to come. Uh, women are finding every day that instead of wearing old-fashioned lipsticks and um, color cosmetics that are actually harmful to you, that they are changing to Lip Sense, that is our uh, premier brand. And little girls are now uh, using Lip Sense as opposed to lipstick and have actually never applied lipstick to their lips. So we're uh, raising a whole new generation of healthy users of beautiful, healthy skincare and color cosmetics. So as we continue our quest to gain market share, uh, we are looking forward to expanding our business operations here in Orange County and other states throughout the uh, United States. Thank you very much. <laughs> Always exciting to recognize the entrepreneurs of this community. Entrepreneurship is such an important part of why this country is what it has become. We have people from the digital economy this year, many, and traditional businesses like beauty and and and, and healthcare. Um, now I'd like to ask the always ubiquitous Don DiCostanzo to step back up so we can give him a a token of our appreciation. Uh, really great presentation. Thank you so much. And uh, my thanks to the Surf and Sand Resort for making our gift to Don possible. Well, the good news is, uh, really great winners once again and uh, always the better news is so many good great entrepreneurs uh, were nominated but uh, didn't get there this year so next year for sure we have a wonderful group to choose from and always we get more um, let me thank all the people at the Orange County Business Journal who made this event run so smoothly Tiffany Bonando Jane Kennedy Julie Vo. Tanya Halata, Summer Bowles, Bobby Dorman, Kim Lopez, Corinne Decker, Mikkel Petrosian, Shelly Asher, and Steve Gall. Thank you, guys. <laughs>
And thank you to our vendors who uh, are listed in your program. Uh, please, would all the award recipients uh, step forward at the end of the program for a group photograph. And last, if you could look at the Orange County Business Journal uh, at your place, uh, the back page, if there's a um, orange sticker on the back page of your Orange County Business Journal, then that beautiful centerpiece on your table belongs to you. So enjoy it. Hope you all enjoyed our program today, and hope to see you again next year. Bye-bye.